Okay, let us begin another episode in annuities. Here we have a question that works with or you have an RRSP, Registered Retirement Savings Plan, and a Registered Retirement Income Fund. So you contribute into an RRSP, and then later on in life, after retirement, more than likely you start to receive income. All right. So the RRIF, the amount that Roy, right up here, would like to receive. So he makes these deposits and becomes an RRIF. So you would like to, Roy would like to receive 20 years from now the, these amounts of money that's coming up now. During retirement, Roy would like to receive $3,600 at the end of every three months for 15 years. If interest is 4.84% compounded quarterly for both the RRSP and the RRIF, answer the following questions and round all answers to two decimal places where necessary. So how much should Roy have in his RRIF to receive payments of $3,600 at the end of every three months? All right, now let's maybe look at the representation of what this is or what this is about. Here we have um, the RRSP, you make contributions and then you go to the, you go to the RRIF. So what you have to do is to identify how much money, this is the $3,600 here, that would be required, it's, it's retirement planning, planning for retirement. So Roy would like to receive $3,600 end of every three months, that means four times per year, and the compounding is quarterly, so that is why this four is here. So this, as you can see, the numbers are already calculated, but we'll go through how the calculation is done. So we first have to get this amount that is required at retirement right here after 20 years and then once we've got that amount we can go back here and find out how much Roy has to contribute okay and he's contributing quarterly correct it's every three months for 15 sorry he'd like to receive the 3600 at the end of every three months for 15 years but he is he is contributing deposits will be okay how much money should roy have in his rif to receive payments 3600 at the end of every three months now further down it says how much money should roy have um, okay that was that part and then the second part he's making contributions how many what payments will roy have to make at the end of every three months this RRSP, so there's enough money in his RRIF at the time of his retirement. Okay, so let's go. It's like we have to work backwards. We have to start with the RRIF down here, put these numbers in, and then get the present value, and then go back to find the payments. So let's go and do just that. Okay, let's go back to the question done in question right here. So maybe make this somewhat larger so we can see it better. All right, so let's go and clear. And now we will go here. So the retirement now, we'd like to receive 3,600 at the end of every three months. So the payments are four times per year. Compounding is also quarterly. I'm sorry, four times per year because it's every three months. So he'll re he's receive the payments four times per year. The compounding quarterly. We'll see why it's four. The interest rate is 4.84. So we will insert that number into here. And we are looking for the present value. So that is the number that has to be computed. All right. So how much 
the amount of each payment is 3600 so we put that number right in here 3600 and the future value well the money will come to an end so a future value would be zero so let's enter these numbers and see what we get so py is four and so is py the second iy py is four and we enter and the cy is also four and we quit that menu now he would like to receive this for 15 years so this is during the retirement part or the registered retirement income fund part so we put in 15 then we go second and n so n turns out to be all right, so IY is 4.84, so we go 4.84. And we, and sorry, I made a mistake there. 4.84, oh, sorry, that, that is the interest. I have to go back and fix the one for the, the value for N. So N is 60, we could put in directly, or we could go back and put the 15 and go second and N. N is 60, we recall IY, it's 4.84. We're computing the present value. We put in the payment of 3600, 3600. That is the payment. And then zero for the future value. And now we compute the present value. That turns out to be 152, 939, point five two okay so that is the amount that roy has to have in the account okay, there it is at the end of the 20 years of contribution all right so now that is the present value now that would become the future value for this other part of the calculation so what we can do is we can copy this number right here that number will become the future value for the contributions that Roy has to make. He has to accumulate this amount of money, right? Now, the payments are at the end of every three months, so PY would be four, and the CY, we were told that the interest is 4.84 compounded quarterly for both the RRSP and the RRIF. So our number is still 4.84 for the interest rate, and CY is also 4. Present value is what? Well, the present value is 0 because Y is building up the contributions. Okay? And the payment is what needs to be computed. Right? So now we are on the first leg. Now we're getting to compute this payment. First, we computed the present value from the RRIF part of the question, right? The registered retirement income fund we want to know how much money needs to be accumulated to retire and receive $3,600 at the end of every three months for 15 years, All right? So let's go and do that now. So let's go. So Second IY. Now CY is, CY is four and CY is also four, then we come out of there. Now, how many years is this going to go on for? Well, it says that he makes the contributions for 20 years. Right? So we go 20, and then we go second and N. N turns out to be 80. So 80 goes in there. IY remains the same, but we can go and recall IY to be sure that we have the correct number. Now, payment is what needs to be computed. Now, present value would be zero because Roy is starting out to accumulate the money. And the future value is this number here, 152939.52. If we recall the future value, there's nothing in there, so we will have to enter that number. 152939.52. And that is the goal of what Roy 
is needs to accumulate after 20 years. So now we compute, sorry, now we go and compute the payment. So Roy has to make payments of $1,144.15 every three months. Okay. And if we submit, we were correct and we seem to be correct. Right. So there it is. So that is what you have to start with what is required. It's like uh, it is um, investment planning, okay, planning for retirement. So you would have to estimate what you would like to have. And from that, you will, that determines how much needs to be accumulated to receive the amount at retirement. So there we are. That brings us to the end of another episode. Bill, stop.